Welcome back to another video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today we talk about the Florida Panthers because Bill Zito, the manager of the team, have an amazing great day with two signatures and also he buy out one player. So don't go nowhere, we're going to tell you who are they. Welcome back, this is your coach, your coach Frenchie, back in the booth today. Like I just mentioned to you, we're going to talk about the Florida Panthers. But before we start, we want to invite you. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show on YouTube channel and also on Facebook page. Yeah, but coach, I'm already subscribed. But please share this with other, other people, maybe a member of your family or maybe a friend to add us to grow and to get better, to bring you more content. And finally... Please leave your comments about this video. Think, tell me what you think about those signatures. And also click on the likes that will give us a boost about this channel. But uh, listen, we're going to talk about this happening today on the Thursday, July 15th for the Florida Panthers. Let's dive in right away with this, all the news. And uh, yes, I'm directly at the BBD Center. Just kidding. I just want to show to you uh, this. I think it's it's fun to see that. Uh, first of all, let's dive in about that one over there. It's happening, the first news early this morning. The Florida Panthers uh, buy out the defenseman, the Iron Man, uh, Keith Yandall, and buy out the last two years remaining of his contract. And that's what's happening with them now with the cap friendly. And we know it, it, every team have to have a below of $81.5 million. The cost of that buyout for uh, for Ken Yondal is uh, $2.3 million, 5.4 for year number two for the Panthers, $1.2 million, and finally, the year number four, 24-25, uh, it's a $1.2 million. So that gives you an idea uh, what's going on with the salary cap for the Florida Panthers. Listen, Yondal is a great player on an offensive side can carry on the puck, great, great with a puck, great skater. Is on the defensive side. He's really, really struggled, to be honest with you. He have low most of his point out on power play, usually. And the power play for that was pretty good this year. So he re he got a lot of point on power play. But on the defensive coverage is where he get beat a lot. And also on the on the neutral zone, he had a difficult time to readjust with the speed for opening teams. So... Um, would be really, really interesting. You can see on the chart where his defensive struggle more. He's only 9% on the defensive side. So I just want to mention about Ken Yandel. What the next destination would be really interesting. A team like Montreal looking for a guy can skate, bring more on offensive on the power play also. Could be really interesting. Uh, has some other rumor, bring him in back in Arizona. So it be We'll, we'll see what happened with Kit Yandol, and we wish the best for him. Uh, then the second um, thing we want to talk about is today. The, uh, after that buyout, we are right away. They signed uh, Gus Forsling for the, the left defenseman for the, for the Cats. Signed a three-year contract at $8 million. Great signature. He had an amazing great year, to be honest with you. His first with the Florida Panthers last season. First of all, his contract go this way. It's a 2.66 uh, AAV per year. Year number one, he got $1.5 million with a signing bonus of 500K. After that, he had 2.5 million. And then year number three, he had 3.5 million um, at the end. Uh, he was born in, in Sweden in 1996. He was drafted at 126th overall pick in 2014 by the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, he played last season 43 games. He has 17 points, 2 goals, 15 assists, uh, with a TOI on 1957. During his career so far in NHL, he played one of the 65 games. He has 44 points uh, with 13 goals. He has also a uh, 17, 49 minute uh, the TOI. So that's give you an idea what he did so far in NHL. I just want to give you a little bit more is... Um, is war graphics this is provided by g fresh hockey i suggest you to follow him on twitter and maybe be signed as a membership for his uh his uh, works he does very great job and uh, what is a war but is a was a, a three years weight average data expressed on personal 
Um, it's about the is uh, even strength on the offensive side is 83%. Defensive side, pretty solid, 59%. He does not play on power play most of the time. He have a couple of shifts last season, but he's more on the PK. Uh, he played 15% of the PK. His finishing is 85. It's pretty good. Overall, is a 72 uh, war. Uh, also, his game uh, per minute at 60 is 84%. His uh, primary uh, assist is 58, penalties draw 43, and of course, his KUC, KOT, 79-74. Uh, with you, pretty solid overall for him. I uh, did not play last season. You can see his offense with the dots on the right graphic. You can see about that one over there. Look, he's a pair, second pair for the Panthers, brings solid behind. Uh, Sometimes he played behind Wegar. On that. And then last season, he played sometime with Kudos on Montour. Uh, would be interesting. What? But again, a great signature for the Panthers. Get him for three years. A low, low, low cost at 2.66. A really solid, great performance. Uh, Bill Zito today about him. The third situation happening today is about another signature. It's today is a French Canadian uh, Anthony Declare signed a contract at three years. Uh, $9 million last season and 43 games at 32 points. A uh, great, great year for him. And, of course, he have also um, 22 assists and a plus 27. That is the biggest, best season about the plus and minus, to be, to be honest with you. He was also drafted by the New York Rangers, 80 overall pick in 2013. Uh, give you a little bit more information about him. Last season, like I said, he played also at TOI, 15 minutes, 41 seconds. And, and during his career so far, he's almost a 400 game at 396, 194 points. So he's going to have a, a mild sound in the next, uh, at the beginning of the next season. He have also 89 goals, 105 assists at TOI of 14 minutes, 06. The breakdown, the breakdown of his contract, guys, on three years. Is a 1.5 plus 500 next uh, the upcoming season, following by three million dollars, a four million dollars for him for a total of nine million dollars in our AAV, of course, at three million dollars. And that's show you a little bit how he grow this year as a hockey player. 70% is WAR, 86 on an offensive side. He struggled more on the defensive side with only eight. But again, it's all about his offensive. 34% of power play, that's pretty great. Finishing 74. And a G60 uh, goal per 60 minute is 77. Uh, a primary 92. Great, great uh, stat for Declare last season. You can see also is, um, is where he grow more on the, on the graphic from 18, 19 to 20, 21. A uh, great performance for him. And finally, you can see uh, on the left graphic uh, what he did with the Panthers this season. So, look, this is a great, great for the Fleur Panthers to buy Audiendo, sign up for Sling, and, uh, and uh, declare a low cost. Uh, declare is going to be a top six for the upcoming season. So, what's next for Bill Zito? Well, he still has $11.5 million, guys. What are they looking for? They need to add... A defenseman, more the right side behind Aaron Eggblad. He going to marketing. I'm sure they will shopping on the on the UFA. I really believe Steve Olichak could be a great asset for them. The second thing I would say to you, they have to find the RFA sign a uh, Sam Bennett signature for the upcoming season. How much? Uh, almost what declare. I think uh, if they get three four years of. Bennett at 3 million, 3.5 is going to be a great, great, great uh, deal for both parties. Or maybe Bennett said, I'm going to two years only at $4 million. That's going to be maybe the right thing for both also. It would be really, really interesting. I don't see anything other about that. Now, they may be lose also that Renault at the Kraken. So they may be looking shopping for another center. They have also maybe signed back. Alan Weinberg. Depends how much Weinberg is looking for. But uh, he's going to be busy, uh, Zito. He still have a lot of money to spend. They already have 21 rosters signed on the 23. So uh, it would be really interesting what's the next move from Bill Zito. That concludes the, the video of the day. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to the 
Hockey Nation live show on the Facebook page and also on the YouTube channel. And like we do at the end of each video, I just want to remind you one more thing. Of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se reparle un peu plus tard.